In a modern world with an ever-increasing pace of production and consumption, there is a silent but extremely important mechanical force, industrial crushers. Not as flashy as AI, not as flashy as robots, but they are shouldering the huge task of processing, recycling, and renewing materials that have been discarded by humans. These machines can crush anything from a one meter diameter tree trunk, a reinforced concrete column more than 50 centimeters thick, to an electric bicycle, an industrial motor, or even a whole car. We wondered, what can't they destroy? Imagine standing in front of an excavator with hydraulic jaws. It looks like a steel dinosaur head. When it bites into a thick block of concrete, in just a few seconds, everything crumbles like a cracker. The hydraulic pressure can reach 300 to 400 tons, enough to bend a large steel structure. A small car, when caught between the jaws, will be reduced to pieces in less than a minute. We will start our journey by exploring the most popular types of crushers in the recycling and demolition industry today each with its own strengths, serving very different purposes. First is the jaw crusher, a type of machine commonly used in construction or coring. The structure is simple with two large steel plates, one fixed, one moving. When the material is fed between the two plates, the pressure from the moving plate will crush the material until it is small enough to fall to the bottom. Jaw crushers are ideal for hard and brittle materials such as limestone, concrete, hard bricks, or dry clay. Despite the rudimentary design, the pressure from this type of machine is extremely strong. It can reach 200 to 400 megapascals, enough to crush boulders into building sand. Next is the double shaft shredder. This is a very popular machine in domestic and industrial waste treatment plants. Two large steel shafts are fitted with blades that twist in opposite directions. When the waste is fed in, the opposite movement of the shafts will pull, cut, tear the material continuously. The biggest advantage of the double shaft shredder is the ability to catch the material itself, meaning that without the need for pushing force, the material is still rolled in and crushed. This machine is very suitable for soft, medium, mixed materials such as plastic barrels, tires, sacks, domestic waste, rags, etc. In cases where we need to process hard and large materials, we often use slow-speed shredders, typically Lindner or Unta. These are single or double shaft machines, but rotate very slowly. Only about 40 to 70 revolutions per minute, with extremely high torque. The advantages of slow grinders are less vibration, less dust, reduced explosion, and are especially suitable for grinding spark-prone materials such as plywood, electronics, light industrial waste containing batteries or thin aluminum. If you need sledgehammer-like crushing power, look no further than a hammer mill. These machines typically have a high-speed rotating rotor with 20 to 60 freestanding hammers mounted around it. As the material is fed in, it is repeatedly hit by the hammers, breaking it into small particles. Hammer mills are commonly used in the recycling of electric motors, washing machine casings, and thin metals, and are particularly effective at recovering pure copper from stators after separating the aluminum casing and steel core. Some modern hammer mills can operate continuously for dozens of hours without stopping for cleaning, thanks to the mechanism of automatically pushing dust and fine debris out using air pressure. A very popular machine in wood recycling plants is the drum chipper. Inside is a large, fast-rotating steel drum on which are fixed blades. When the log is fed in, it hits the drum, the blades will thin and cut the log into small, even pieces. Depending on the design, the drum chipper can produce wood pieces from 10 millimeters to 50 millimeters, serving the wood pellet, industrial paper, or furnace industries. For construction and demolition waste, 
People often use crushers integrated with hydraulic jaws, such as crushing buckets. This is a device that is usually mounted directly on the excavator's boom, operating right at the construction site. Meanwhile, if the goal is to process thin, easily entangled materials, such as plastic films, PE packaging, straws, plastic straps, then the single shaft shredder with a hydraulic push table is the top choice. A large shaft with a rotating cutter under a stable torque force combined with a hydraulic table to continuously push the material in. This design allows the material to always be in contact with the cutter without slipping, limiting machine jamming. Some factories also use crushers with output screens, which help to precisely control the size of the crushed pieces. If the material particles are not small enough to pass through the screen, they will continue to be rotated and crushed again until they reach the desired size. This mechanism is commonly seen in the tire, electric cable, and recycled plywood crushing industries. A current trend is to combine crushers with automatic post-crushing separation systems. For example, separating metals from, by magnetic conveyor or hanging magnet, separating aluminum by eddy current separator, separating light waste by airflow, air classifier, color sorting by AI camera, identifying HDPE, PET, PP plastics for separate processing. The special thing is that each type of crusher will have a different operating rhythm, meaning that each material, each recycling target, will require a delicate combination of pressing force, rotation speed, cutting blades, and screening arrangement. With electric motors, usually need to grind coarsely with twin shafts, then grind finely with hammer mill to collect copper. With tires, need to grind primary to separate rubber, fabric, and steel, then use granulator to collect rubber particles two to five millimeters. With wooden pallets, can use drum chipper, then transfer to vibrating screen to get standard sawdust. Even some materials such as lithium ion batteries, electronic circuit boards, Carbon fiber composites need to be frozen with liquid nitrogen or liquid CO2 before grinding to avoid explosion and keep the crystal structure intact when recycling. In a broader sense, each type of crusher is an expert in its own field. There are machines designed to chew concrete. There are machines to caress thin plastic films. There are super slow crushers just to make biofertilizer from kitchen waste all have one thing in common. They help people control the complexity of used materials, turning chaos into order. And that's when you realize the crusher is not just a machine of destruction, but a gateway to regeneration, a device that sits between the old and the new, a gatekeeper for the circular economy of the 21st century.